What's the difference between an architect and an engineer, you ask? My name is Andrew, and I've been a practicing architect for over 20 years. I'm going to answer that question for you and tell you what to do to get the most out of your architect. People often tell me, I wanted to be an architect, but I'm not good at math. That's funny, because neither am I. Neither are most architects I know. They were likely picturing what structural engineers do. It happens all the time. So what's the difference? Engineers have a narrow but deep expertise. They are specialists among specialists. Structural engineers are concerned with the structure, surprise, surprise, making sure the design stands without too much stress or movement. Structural engineers calculate and size beams, columns, and foundations according to the architect's design. Mechanical engineers design the heating and cooling systems so that you're comfortable inside. Architects often pick the system and have a say in where things go, how they look, and especially how it all fits together with the building. Mechanical systems and architectural components have to be designed hand in hand to ensure the building is comfortable and functioning as intended. Because engineers have that narrow and deep focus, they can point out opportunities and flaws in systems that architects might not be familiar with. Now, to architects. You see already that architects may not always do the nitty-gritty engineering, but we approximate it before we start working with engineers. That is because architects' skill and knowledge spans a wide spectrum. Picture us as the conductors of the construction symphony, speaking the languages of clients, engineers, contractors, building code officials, and suppliers. We'll meet with a general contractor to go over framing in the morning, pick stone tiles for a bathroom at a showroom on the way back to the office, and do YouTube videos in the afternoon. We create designs from our imaginations and sort out the details to make those ideas code compliant, waterproof, sustainable, etc., without losing the original idea. Not a small feat. The way we work together. Architects subcontract engineers to work on their projects, and since the architect is the conductor, often has to massage the engineering and architectural design together to make sure both of them function and are aesthetically pleasing. That's the conductor mentality. We're looking at the big picture and the details. The last thing you want is a great design ruined because a giant duct is cramping your style. Oh, and the number one tip to get the most out of working with your architect? If you're thinking of architects as a necessary evil to get a permit, you're leaving the best solutions to your problems on the table. Architects bridge the gap between creativity and technical know-how. We use our skills and expertise to come up with not just beautiful designs, but designs that sort out all of your needs and transform it into a cohesive, holistic design solution that's built to last. Think of us as partners in creating the home of your dreams. Find an architect whose work you love and who has the skill to make those designs real. And for you out there thinking about architecture, but you're not good at math, go for it. It isn't about math, but about creativity, a desire to understand your client, and openness to learn in a constantly changing field. Everything can be taught, so don't count yourself out before you've tried. Thanks for watching. I hope you've learned a little bit about the difference between architects and engineers and how to get the most out of your architect. Would you hit the like button if this video answered your questions? Did I miss anything? I'd love to hear your thoughts down in the comments below. But for now, I want to thank you so much for watching and I hope you have a great day.